Woo! Good morning. Well, clearly it's not morning. It's actually night, but baby face flare is back. For those of you guys that hate, hate the old facial hair, it is back and better than ever. And we are headed into Walmart right now with the legend himself. We got Bond Daddy, and actually John from Men Decadors is actually already inside. And today, well, actually yesterday I got back from Mexico and I'm actually pretty sick. Got, got kind of a, a head cold going on, sore throat. And uh, we are gonna do a survival challenge. So that's the best thing to do when you're sick is to go lay out in the wilderness on the ground during a snowstorm. Where you're supposed to get how many? Three to six? Three, six inches, I believe, of snow to basically come in tonight or tomorrow sorry tomorrow we're getting all the supplies tonight and then tomorrow we're supposed to get snow so we want to do an arctic blizzard walmart walmart challenge that's at least the goal what's up boys look who showed up the traps oh you didn't get the suit no you just got the big thing. oh it's oh it's a me thing. A thing okay thing. but yeah at least you got like you're like half trap I'm like, suit yeah, yeah i'm like almost there to like the level that you're at a trapping. I'm like true here with Austin. True, like true, true. Professional yeah, that, yeah. amateur. Right. True. That's what we're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you guys know, I am a I am a trap lord, so I'm not gonna argue with that. But John, how excited are you for this challenge? Oh, I'm so excited. You're just holding the camera. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I get I get to like stay in the nice warm like car. You guys are doing all the hard stuff. I'm just I'm just gonna hold the camera here and there. So John's gonna film it, so and he's good. Yeah, he, he he's basically wimping out. I'm just kidding. We we said that he could he could stay in the truck because. Really, one person surviving in the woods is a lot. Two is pretty, you know, that's pushing it. Three is like, okay, that's just too many resources, too many squirrels to kill, too many, I don't know, life straws to drink th from. I don't really know. But John's going to basically just help film this. He is not going to be sleeping out there with us. But Bonds Daddy and I are going to be roughing it out there. So we've got to get get all the goods. We're not, we don't have like a budget for this necessarily, but we're not going to go crazy. So the rules are no food. We're not bringing any food, any water, no what no fire no lighters no propane no propane basically we're here to get just like knives tarps paracord tents. yeah there's no tents so we can't have like an actual shelter we're gonna have tarps we gotta make everything let's pretty much just some flints we'll get we're gonna take a, a, a pot or like a pan out there so we gotta figure out we have to have something to cook some of the stuff on and maybe some cooking supplies maybe just minor cooking supplies but really we're just gonna fit everything into a backpack and that's gonna be that that's it's it, it's kind of like full-on survival but like it's also gonna be snowing like we're supposed to get you know, that was we get three, six uh, inches. You guys are screwed. We can't go like full blown where you have like $10 spent at Walmart because we'll die for sure. So we got to tweak it just, just a little bit. It's still going to be survival though, I promise. Let's get all the survival goods here. The old wall of Mart. All right, what are we cooking with? Do we so, need this? Well, that seems a little excessive. Ooh, okay. We can grab that. Let's, let's, look. okay. You like that? Let's mess with that up a little bit. Yep. What is this? A, fold, a folding saw. I think that's, that, that, was that the one that had the little price on it? I don't know how much it is. We're going to get that. Do we need a folding shovel? Fire is the only thing I could like. Like to dig it dig. out. Ah, it, 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 it's survival. Okay, we're, we're going for it. Again, it's not like we're going to the woods with absolutely nothing, but we're just getting tools to build fires. We have to hunt all the food. There's And there's no fish, so it's strictly hunting all the food. Um, no water. We can't bring any bottles of water, so we got to get some live straws or we got to boil water, one of the two. Um, what else do we need? Paracord? Yes, we need paracord. We probably need a decent amount. I mean, that's I mean, I don't that's know. probably enough. 550 get, better. Let's get two of these just in case. We got paracord. We need a knife. Yeah, let's get some. Get a couple knives. Get like, do they have one where it straps to your legs? I just feel like a badass when I have those. Oh, okay. This is a multi-tool. What's, what's, this? what's in this? What's multi about it? All right, I'll go with this one. I don't know why. It just okay. kind of looks cool. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Life straws. Let's get a couple of these for sure. There yeah. you go, buddy. Strike Force fire starter. What do you think about that? We only need one. Let's get one of those. We each get a backpack, and we can fill up a backpack filled with like reasonable items, yep. and that's gonna be what we're taking. I'll go this one. You like that one? Yeah, that's not a bad one. Let's get that one. Oh All right, two bags. That's a giant bag. I also forgot to mention that for sh shelter, it's not shelter. We have sleeping bags. We and we're not buying them here. I already have them. I just bought them on Amazon because it is freezing. Up. It's freezing. It's gonna be below free. We can't just. There's no way we will die for sure if we don't have a sleeping bag. So yes, we're gonna have a sleeping bag. Whether that's survival or not, you call it what you want, but it's going to be what it is. Last but not least, we're going to get some tarps, just a couple tarps, some heavy duty ones. That's going to be what we have to use for shelter. So yes, we're not going to be using sticks and, and branches and stuff. One, there's not really a lot of leaves. Like we don't have like a lot of pine trees around here. So there's not any sticks with leaves and it's supposed to rain and snow this whole time. So like we have to have some type of cover. So again, we're just making this survival thing as difficult as it can be without making sure we don't just get camera gear soaked and everything soaked and we're just laying there wet and cold and might die. We, so we're just trying to take those preventative measures. But we're going to give ourselves some tarps. So instead of actual tents, tarps, and we're going to have to, you know, makeshift something. So we'll use sticks to like support. Yeah, we'll still use sticks. It'll still be survival, but we just need a couple items to make sure we don't die.
tomorrow. Is that where we're oh. setting up camp? Yeah. Right there? I think this is good. Dude, this is actually not a bad one. Got a little. lot of trees. Is this there's just a like stream. a... There's a stream down there if we need some water, which we will. Yeah, we need, we need water yes. for sure. Well, we made it. We've got pretty much everything in these bags right here. We've got all the cooking stuff we need, fire starters, uh, clothes. I mean, we've got, obviously I'm not gonna wear a hoodie the whole time. The only reason I'm wearing a hoodie is because I know we're gonna be running around building shelters and I don't wanna sweat. Biggest thing I learned from watching Bear Girls is do not sweat because then you get cold at night. And right now, it's like right at 32 degrees. It's gonna be cold tonight, and I got even more sick last night. I was coughing all night long, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a dandy. It went from like one to three inches. By the way, the only reason why I'm doing this today, even though I'm sick, is because I've wanted to do this challenge during a snowstorm. And I've been out of town every snowstorm, and this is the first one. And I was like, okay, one to three inches, perfect. It's gonna be snowing, it's gonna look cool. Well, now it's supposed to be six inches. So now it's kinda like, crap. Um, this is gonna be a little bit more serious than I than I had imagined, and we're really gonna have to make a decent fortress uh, shelter so we don't really get get cold and die and whatever. But anyways, we're gonna get set up. The official time check is 10:33, and uh, so 10:33 tomorrow we can get out, Austin. All right, if we're still alive. If we're still alive. So we're gonna get everything set up, and we'll kind of go through what's in our bags. We've also brought some other items that we didn't talk about. We brought a couple uh, dog-proof traps. So again, this is not just like go in the woods with a knife and survive. We're altering it just a little bit, but we're still gonna be hunting, gathering, trapping for food. That's again, the whole picture behind this challenge. But anyways, we're gonna get kind of unloaded, try to get a pad here created, kind of start building our shelter. The, the protocol for steps is to establish a, a home base, a shelter, uh, gather firewood, and then go for some food before dark. That's the goal. You guys stay tuned. Unloaded that guy. We're, we're, there's still a tarp in there. We got two sleeping bags. I'm just gonna kind of walk through everything we have. This is where we decided to camp. So where you guys just saw us up, up on the top of the cell, we decided to come down in this little ravine area because we think it's gonna be out of the wind the most. Uh, kind of just down, down in this area. Plus, we have some running water right here that looks pretty clean. And then there's like a little pool of where the creek kind of runs into. So we figured good, good place to uh, Kind of set up base out of the wind a little bit. We're thinking about we'll probably run run a big log across this and make a little canopy with some sticks and brush and stuff. But I want to show you guys everything we, we got, although I already kind of went through it at Walmart. We'll quickly go through it because we added just a couple items, but not really much. So we've got four dog proofs. These are raccoon traps and I guess possum traps, mainly raccoon traps. We brought those. Yes, most people that go on survival or camping or whatever, if you get stranded in the woods, don't have these. But again, the purpose of this is to capture your 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 food i mean that's really the whole goal of this whole thing it's kind of like survival it's kind of just like really roughing it camping with no food or water that's kind of a way to put it instead of it being like a complete survival where you just have a knife only or something like that that's kind of what we're doing we got some tin foil this is really only just a cook with i mean we have to have something to somewhat cook with we honestly may not even need it but we got it just in case this is the hand chainsaw we got a shovel in case we need to dig something we got a saw we got a knife we did bring some cooking stuff we brought some seasoned flour some red hot some oil and then we got this pan here again we have to be able to cook these things you know somewhat decent in order to survive out here we can't just cook it with no seasoning i mean we could but you guys know me and franks i can't i can't i can't disrespect the game by not using franks we brought those yes call it cheating or whatever you want to call it but regardless it doesn't really matter we got life straws paracord and knives and axe we, we added some duct tape and we got a tarp. Basically then we just got clothes. There's just more clothes, sleeping bags. All this stuff you guys already saw. So first step is we just, we're just gonna build our structure. That's the first thing. So we gotta kind of gather some logs, gather some sticks, stuff like that, and kind of just make make a little home base and make a shelter. And then we gotta go find some food because I'm actually already getting hungry. I mean, it's almost lunchtime. We had breakfast and that's it. So we gotta go find some food. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. We got guns. We got a 22, got a little banana clip in it. And we got a shotgun, a 12 gauge shotgun, 22 rifle. So we do have guns. We have some weapons. Basically, we're gonna be hunting squirrels, rabbits, coons, whatever. Pigeon. Pigeon, whatever flies, it dies. Trapping mechanisms and some weapons. That's what we're gonna be using to go get some stuff. But again, like I said, we're gonna start on the shelter. Shelter is priority. I can make it without food for 24 hours. Won't be happy about it, but I can't sit there in the snow for 24 hours. That'd be a bad deal. All right, I think let's find the big stick first. Cause what we, you know what we could do? We could wedge it in that, see that where that one's wedged? We could wedge one end and then run the other end here and then, and then it's just a canopy where we're all flat. Yeah. Well, let's try, let's just try to move a big stick and see how strong we are first. I think we can do it. I think the strap's pick it up from the bottom and rotate it. Jesus, Jim. I'm okay. He's gonna die before we even get started. That's it, it's gonna happen. 
Yep, it's gonna come down here soon. Take it off one more time. Let me check. Yep. Yep. There we go. Woo! There we go, son. Right, someone's gotta stay under there and someone's gotta lift it and put it on their shoulder and then go up. One, two, three. No, don't go forward yet. Gotta go back. Up and then forward. There. Forward. All right, let it rest. Is that good? Oh! Did we, just, did we just do it? We did it. Dude, this is gonna be, be dope. This is oh. gonna be dope. We worked up a sweat. What did I say? The number one rule is don't sweat. I am soaked in sweat. We are thirsty, so we got our live straws. Ready to rock and roll. There's a creek down yonder. We're gonna go explore it. Definitely bring guns. Anywhere we go, we need to bring yeah. guns, for sure. Found a little crick here. Take a slurp of this. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Game changer, live straw. Game changer. It's good stuff there, boys. All right. Let's go finish the shelter. Well, this is the uh, it's a tarp we have. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, wow, this is cheating, it's basically a tent. I mean, it's not really basically a tent, it's just, just a tarp. But here's the deal. When, when you watch survival videos when, people are, when it's snowing, they get like evergreens and pine trees and use those. Well, there's, there's no leaves. Like, we physically could not stay dry in an environment like this if it's snowing and it's actually supposed to go from rain to sleet to snow so i mean it's a bad deal so we got just one tarp this is a 12 by 24 so it's not i mean it looks giant but it's really not that big we're gonna try to make this into a shelter i think i've got a pretty good idea of how we can stay enclosed out of the wind warm maybe keep a fire nearby we gotta see if we can put this thing together quick because we still have no food we're about an hour and a half in we got a lot of work to do this is gonna be a palace bro oh heck yeah oh this is this is good. <laughs> this is really good. Just hope this tarp is waterproof. All right, so the first step is taking each. This is like the open-ended corner, so we have to secure this. We got our paracord that we bought, and there's two little rivets on this tarp, so we're gonna take this, and all you gotta do is just tie this together and secure this whole thing. Just kind of pinch, pinch this whole thing secure. That way it's airtight. The other side's obviously gonna be airtight, and then we're gonna stake this out, kind of out like a tent. That way the rain and the snow can kind of drape off the side. We'll be good to go. But I'm gonna do this. Austin, because we don't know when it's going to start raining, it could be within the next couple hours. Austin's going to go start looking for some firewood. We really got to get that going. Whether we have food or not, we need fire. Otherwise, it's going to be way too cold tonight. So, we're stacking up the firewood for tonight and tomorrow because it is going to snow and rain. So, we're going to get everything and put it under our tarp so it stays dry. So, we're just going to keep picking up some more little twigs and a little more kindling so we can have a fire tonight. This is home for tonight. I don't know, maybe some of you guys are thinking this is a little overkill or not survivalish enough, but again, we had to have some type of shelter. And yes, we could have had a really small tarp. I didn't think this tarp was this big when we bought it. I thought it was just gonna be just enough to kind of canopy it. But actually what we've done is stretched across, so it's covered this way and covered on the bottom, basically an enclosed triangle is what we're working with here. Should be waterproof, should be windproof, but now we gotta go get some food to eat. I am starving. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember in the last video we came out here, this is the new property that Austin and I explored. If you guys saw that video where we blew up the beaver dam, if you guys remember there was a corn pile out here and a lot of you guys were saying it's raccoon. So we got a couple dog proof traps and we're gonna set these up. Austin's walking down yonder. He's gonna take a 12 gauge shotgun through the woods looking for anything that moves. And then John and I are gonna take that 22 and just gonna camp out for some squirrels. But we gotta set up some dog proofs first and hopes we get a raccoon either tonight, well, the parents only have tonight. That way we at least have breakfast. At the very least, we'll go to bed hungry, but we'll wake up with some breakfast. That's the goal. So we're gonna set one kind of close to this tree. There's, it's, there's a lot of corn, so set this guy all the way down. And then it's important, luckily, I brought some stakes. I know this isn't like quite super wildernessy, but I mean, you can use sticks and stuff, but you definitely wanna stake them down. Otherwise, they can get away and you wanna put these as far down on the ground as possible. And then also what I found is brushing them in has helped with our, uh, our success. So if you just take like little, you know, grass like this, just 
just kind of wrap it around just make it a little bit more natural now we didn't bring any food at all even for traps like this so we're gonna go look for some corn looking for the corn 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 there's some corn there we go that's what we're that's what we're after out there son get that corn all in that you can pretty much spread it around but you want to get some down in there that way it pinches their little paw you guys haven't seen any of these videos i got a lot of videos doing this stuff but this is called a dog proof. That looks about right. And then I'm just gonna just sprinkle it all around, just like this, in hopes that Mr. Coon pays us a visit. We're gonna go set this other one up right down there. Our camp's, I don't know, quarter mile that way, and we'll come check these in the morning. We got easy water, easy access to water, a food pile, obviously they've been using, and uh, I don't know. Again, this is like kind of the last resort. If we don't get anything tonight. Hopefully we'll have some breakfast. Looks like it's gonna be pretty bad. Right now, we gotta go shoot some squirrels. Gotta go shoot some rabbits or some pigeons. Something, we gotta eat something, otherwise it's gonna be a long night. We finally made it. We hiked probably a mile. We're, this is kind of the, basically the complete opposite side of our camp. We figured with all the noise we're making on our camp, this is where, you know, the, the animals and stuff are gonna be over here, probably, more than likely. So I'm sitting up here. I'm just gonna sit here with a 22 and just wait and listen and pretty much until dark or so um and or until it starts snowing and raining really bad and we're gonna sit here and try shoes and we have austin he's back there in the other forest he's gonna be walking around with actually a shotgun and trying to scare up any rabbits squirrels whatever he's doing kind of like the ground infantry and i'm doing like the more the sniper kind of lay low type thing um but the idea is that we're just gonna try to be quiet and just sit here and not not, not make much oh my god did he just kill him Dude, let's call him. Let's call him. Yo. Yo, did, did you just shoot something? I got dinner. No, you didn't. I'll bring it to you. Dude, that literally took like five. I just, I was literally just telling him that we just sat down. Yeah. Oh. Was, you won't believe it. I'll come over to you. I, I think I know where you are. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I wonder what he got though. So he it had to be like, I guess it's got to be a rabbit. I mean, that's the only thing that there could be. See, the thing is, the squirrels. We haven't seen any squirrels right now. We've seen some rabbits though. I'm guessing he just he just stirred up a rabbit. But he says we have dinner, so that's good. At least we're gonna have something to cook tonight. No idea what it is, but he's gonna come over. He's gonna walk over here and show it. We're still gonna kind of sit here and and wait. I don't know. Even if it's a rabbit, that's it's not that much food. We're, I mean, we probably need a little bit more than that, but we'll see what he has. All right. So right now we're gonna go see what Austin has. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see this. What do you got, Big Jim? Oh my gosh, no, how did you even kill that? Ooh, yeah, baby. Look at, oh, this is just, I mean, it's coming down. Yeah. It's getting, it's getting it right now. We are both pretty freaking hungry right now. 